I'm a happy man. The European Parliament has just voted my report on the midterm review of the EU's biodiversity strategy. Biodiversity refers to the variety of life on Earth. It's what makes this world so unique and so beautiful. But biodiversity has declined by more than a quarter in the last 35 years in terms of number of species. In the EU, barely 23% of species and 16% of habitats have a favourable status. Our group, the ECR, heard the cry for help of nature and we responded. As indicated in my report, I believe that greater political will is needed to genuinely tackle biodiversity loss. From the start, I have made it crystal clear that I oppose a possible revision of the nature directives. The directives are fit for purpose, which should just move on. The Commission has a key role in ensuring the full implementation and the full enforcement of the nature directives. Where they are well implemented, we see good results. And I myself was supported by more than 500,000 EU citizens who participated in the Nature Alert campaign, raising their voice for nature conservation. Preserving biodiversity is key for, future, for a future where people have sufficient food supplies, where fresh water is in sufficient supply, where climate change is mitigated and many, many more. Biodiversity also underpins our economies. It is estimated that the loss of biodiversity causes economic losses equivalent to 7% of global GDP. In Europe, one in six jobs depends on, to some extent on nature and the opportunity cost of not reaching the biodiversity 2020 headline target is estimated at 50 billion euro a year. So from a purely economical point of view, it makes sense to protect biodiversity. I hope the European Commission will hear the clear signal that the overwhelming majority in the European Parliament has given today.